I'm Sophia. I'm Aaron. I'm Leonard. And I'm Ivan. We're group one, and today we present to you Driving That Hunger, in which we propose a delivery child um, food drive event for children. Now, did you know that $2.98 is all you need to provide for one meal for one person in America? That's honestly cheaper than a lot of Starbucks drinks, which you guys probably get every day. But people don't have that luxury, let alone three meals a day, which is why we brought today's uh, topic of food insecurity to uh, our project. Now, food insecurity in Texas is about 17% and has been relatively stable the past few years, but that doesn't mean that's necessarily good because if you compare it to the national average, the U.S. average is 15.4%. And in fact, we are one of the top four uh, food insecure states in America. Now, in the Texas map, we divided the, it into counties. And if you look towards the east, the percentages of food insecurity rise to even more than 25% in the Dallas area. Now, <coughs> you know that in Dallas, there are more than uh, 853,000 people that live in food insecure um, households. And one in every four children live in those households and suffer from food insecurity, which North Texas uh, Food Bank has calculated to be over 300,000 children. Now, how does this affect our community? How does this affect Dallas? It affects us because it affects the children around us in that children don't have enough food and therefore are more uh, malnourished and get more sick, sick e frequently, which also leads to um, developmental delays that they might suffer. And parents can't do much about it because they can't even afford the medical expenses because they're too busy just trying to put the food on the table. Why our company? Why Tom Thumb? Well, just a brief overview of what we're doing is that we're going to have a food truck drive and that Tom Thumb will distribute evenly throughout which is perfect for our company because we have several locations located throughout Dallas. And we also have a pretty good reputation in that we provide very good groceries and quality. And even though they're a little bit higher price, that leads to higher income customers. And therefore, those customers will tend to donate more. Not only that, but we also have been increasing our contributions over the past few years. And not just hunger, but also health care, wildlife, Etc. In fact, we have the Tom Thumb Rewards Card for loyal members that you can apply for, and 1% of your total purchases will go to the top three nonprofit organizations of your choice, and plus, they save money. All right, so the problem with food drives in the past is that not everyone has access to them. Not everyone, you have to go to the right time at the right place, and just not everyone can do that. So we are eliminating this problem by delivering the food to them. So during after school, during the evenings, we'll be delivering food to certain schools in DISD. We will be switching schools during a five-day event, and we'll be hitting different schools each day. So we are partnering up with Hunger Busters for this project. Hunger Busters aims to reduce third meal insecurity in that which children attending Dallas schools rely solely on school subsidized breakfast and lunch as their only source of food. So that means when they go home, they don't have a dinner on the table like everyone else does. So Hunger Busters wants to eliminate that and so do we. So we as Tom Thumb will be collecting donations to deliver food to food insecure locations in Dallas. As you can see from the map below, all the blue areas are the most food insecure locations in Dallas. So we will be delivering food to those locations. This will help spread awareness, and which will ultimately help our goal of reducing um, food insecurity in Dallas. As for advertisements, we as Tom Thumb will be posting posters in our 60 stores, <coughs> as well for the donations, as well for the event itself. We will also be posting posters at certain DISD schools, as well as the surrounding neighborhoods. We will be advertising this also on our website about for donations and for the events itself. Also, we will do, be doing this on the Hunger Buster website. So we will also give out flyers to uh, students so that they can take it home and inform them about the event, which will also inform their parents.
We will have daily announcements at school to inform them and to continue to remind them when the event is happening and to make sure they attend. So for our plan, we will be accepting donations in two ways. The first way will be at checkout. Customers can donate selected items that we have listed for them on our in-store posters at every Tomco location. The other way they can donate is from a straight monetary donation. Um, from this money that Tom Thumb gets from the monetary donations, we will, we will use that to pay for uh, additional foods that will be distributed um, at the event. The other thing we will do uh, in addition is have a Hall of Fame wall for uh, customers who choose to donate $20 or more worth of food or cash. Uh, as far as staff goes, most of our staff will be uh, volunteers. Uh, since Hunger Busters, uh, their, their max volunteer per day is usually uh, about 25 people. So we will also be asking um, Dallas ISD students and uh, administrators to help uh, to volunteer and help with the distribution process if they would like. Um, as far as paid staff goes, uh, Tom Thumb delivery truck drivers who will obviously be at the event since they are driving, they will also be helping during the distribution process as well. Um, for our event, our, our budget covered advertisement, staff, and the delivered trucks. For advertisement, we used a company called Uprinting. Uh, they will be in charge of making the posters that will be in every Tom Thumb store that have the selected list of items and that encourage donations from customers. Uh, Uprinting will also be in charge of making the flyers that we'll be posting around in secure neighborhoods that are promoting the event, as well as the cards that we'll be handing out to students during school for them to take home to inform their parents of the event as well. Um, for the staff, like I mentioned before, uh, the Tom Thumb delivery truck drivers need to be paid their uh, hourly wages. And as for the delivery trucks go, Tom Thumb actually owns uh, delivery trucks for uh, <coughs> home grocery delivery. So the budget just goes for the gas money that will be used to pay for uh, driving to and from the Tom Thumb locations to the certain schools. And so that brings our total budget to over $8,000. Okay, and um, as we have previously mentioned, we are going to be partnering with the nonprofit organization Hunger Busters in order to tackle our issue of distribution logistics. And Hunger Busters currently provides about 2,000 meals a day um, to 11 schools and six after-school programs in the DISD area. And so they already have like really valuable uh, volunteer network and distribution channel in place, which would be a great asset to us in getting our meals to the kids that need it the most. And again, we need volunteers, lots of volunteers, to make this event successful. And we kind of touched on how we're going to get um, DISD staff to help us out. We also plan on recruiting teachers and other volunteers as well that we can get through our website. And um, these volunteers will be responsible for preparing the meals as well as handing them out to children at schools. And speaking of schools, um, they're going to be our main distribution centers because it's a very convenient place for parents and students. Um, at, at the school, uh, students will get a prep meal, which will uh, be prepared by our various volunteers. These prep meals will usually consist of about, you know, like a sandwich, a piece of fruit, a cookie, and a bottle of water. And um, as well as that, uh, we'll, we'll also have unprepared foods, such as canned foods and uh, non-perishable goods. And parents can actually pick these items up when they come to school to pick up their kids, or later on in the evening when they have more time to come to the school to pick up food. All right, so we have three main goals with Driving Out Hunger. Our first is to provide 20,000 meals um, to kind of uh, satisfy the third meal requirement for these kids. And um, we're hoping to do this over the course of five days. And hopefully the food that we provide to parents will also um, feed these kids for days to come in the future. We also want to get the community involved in um, tackling the issue of food insecurity. We hope to inspire through our actions of some of other companies to um, also reach out to your neighborhoods and um, help feed these kids. And lastly, we would want to become an annual event. We believe that the dialogue about food insecurity lasts beyond one week of food trial. And so hopefully um, we can do this event every year. And by providing food to these kids, we not only protect their futures, but we also um, kind of invest in the future generation to come. And we sincerely hope that you guys consider us and fund our project and empower um, our community's children. At this time, we'd like to take any questions or comments that you might have. I think we would love to ask some questions.